can wait for this cherry to come out. That is going to look fantastic. Yeah, we've just cut that and as you've seen, I've took the little uh, scarifier over it first and then we've cut it. So let me just show you the back. This is definitely coming back. It's definitely looking better. Still a few little holes in it, but I've already put this link up a few times when I tidied this garden up. Um, but I'll still put the link up because for those who haven't seen it, it, it really is. It, it's it's uh, it's sound, but it's bone dry. I was here yesterday doing some work. I'm here today maintaining the garden, and I watered these, and this was just literally bedraggled. And I can see it coming up now, so I'll give it some more water. You can see where I've watered, but it is so so dry under there. Um, what I'm going to show you now is the difference in the moss that's in the lawn. Again, this lawn's been scarified by us originally and I've kept on top of it. Now you're thinking on top of it and you think that there's nothing in it, but this just proves what's in it. Now, if you look over this side, you can see it's quite thin and sparse and the sun is on that side, so it's drying it. And then as we come over the lawn, it seems to be getting thicker and thicker and this, these patches are thicker here under the tree. And then when we get over to this bit, look how much is on this bit. I've even took right down there because that's sort of not growing because of the, the fence. So I've done it with this little machine, which I've just done a little review on it. Now, I've got no link to this. I've got no affiliation, no nothing. If you go and buy that, I won't get a penny off anybody. But what you can do is if you buy it and you're happy with it and you think I've done you a favour, you can always buy me a coffee. I'll put a link in the description. So for those who think I've helped them out, you can help me out, get me a nice little coffee. But yeah, the difference is, over there, absolutely less, 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 more, 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 more. And then, and that just shows you when you've got heavy shade, you're going to get moss and you're going to get, you know, detritus in, 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 in the grass. So yeah, um, I'll, I'll clear up now with the mower and I'll just show you the, the finished article. I um, just have to say here for maintenance today, this scarifying I'm doing now is actually a freebie just simply because I want it to look nice. And that's exactly what I got that for, small entrances and then just quickly run over gardens. So it will be getting a lot of use, but I'll keep you, keep you posted. Okay, let's clean the grass up now. Well, I've just put up now a video of me scarifying this lawn and the back lawn, which I'll take you through in a second. And it was only two weeks ago that I did the scarifying, and I used my um, my go-to scarifier, which is a real industrial one, professional one. And there's nothing wrong with it. The, the thing I did, or the thing I do is, if I do scarifying, I charge for scarifying. And then when I've got maintenance and it's a regular customer, if I think it needs a little run over, I run over it maybe instead of mowing um, and that way I don't have to charge them and it's still getting scarified because it's more of a light run over and that's what I did with this it was only two weeks ago but he just put the video up um, I'll put a link in it just so you can see it and that was done with my as I say professional um, scarifier but because I was running over it and it was sort of free I didn't want to go crosswise and diagonal and everything so I just did one run over it which was good enough it got plenty out but when I turned up this week to mow it, I actually thought there's still a little bit in it. And I've bought this new one, as you know, I've done a video on that as well. I'll put that review link on. 
But if you run over it now and look, just look at that. And I'll take you through to the back now, and you can see that. As I say, as I say, there isn't loads in it, but there's a lot. Considering a scarf I had it two weeks ago, but it didn't. I didn't go mad. I didn't go major. It wasn't a scarifying job. It was just to go over it, and it got loads out as well. But look how much this has got out as well. So I was right in taking this over it, and it it can get through the doorway with ease. So I'll just run over this a little bit, and you can see it coming out. And again, you'll see the same here. It's very light, very dry, and quite thin coming out. And as we move over into the shadows of the fence and the shrubs, it gets thicker and also darker because it's very damp. So this section, it will always have moss in, but you, you can see the difference there, just along there. In fact, you can still see the lines from me scarifying two weeks ago. If you look. So, fantastic machine, as I say. I'm just sorry I haven't got a link to it, but nevertheless, it'll help someone if you're making your mind up whether to get one or not. If it lasts, absolutely brilliant. Well, considering I've done this two weeks ago, nobody is more surprised than me. I mean, you can see the difference. But look how dark it is. It's sort of coming up damp. It really is surprising. I mean, it's been done. This just shows you what is in your lawn. And this is a, a regular lawn that I do maintain, and I treat it, and I scarify it. And that is, well, that's what the whole point is. I didn't give it a heavy one two weeks ago, but I certainly went over it. Went up and down. You've seen it on the video. Hello, it came out. Anyway, it's, this is just to show you what is in a lawn, so when you take to a customer, or even if a customer's watching this, your lawn needs scarifying. And then they don't, they don't, they don't think it does. My God. But it definitely shows you the difference as it gets over there. Well, I thought while I'm at it, I'll just tag this one along, put this one on. Um, this one, again, didn't look like it needed doing, but I thought, I've got it with me, I'll just run over it. Look how much has come out. I don't know if you can pick it up, because it's quite sunny. But again, this is, it's weird. That one's in the sun, and it's got a little bit on it. Hope you can pick it up. And this one is absolutely full, because it's in the shadow of the hedge. It just shows you the difference with a bit of shade. I don't know if you can pick me 99 up, it looks great when, uh, when you can see it. But obviously it's only just got new new little shoots on it when these open up into full leaves. But yeah, it's good. But that's not what I'm showing you. Anyway, uh, another reason, again, why we got this is to get through little gaps like this. So I'll take you through. 